today, we will show you how you can keep the status of linked tickets in sync between a bug ticket from a JIRA service management project and a task from a JIRA software project. Stay tuned for the full tutorial. Before we start with the automation rule, it is important that the teams have a good understanding of their current workflows for each issue type. For this specific tutorial, we will keep it simple and keep the same statuses in both workflows. As you can see the same statuses exist on both workflows. In addition to having the same workflows, we have to ensure that transitions between statuses are available in both workflows. For example, if the transition status from open to work in progress from the development task exists, then you have to ensure that the same transition exists in the bug ticket. Later in the series, we will showcase how you can create specific rules for specific transitions. First, let's start by going to the global automation settings. Click on Project Settings. Click on Automation. Click on Global Automation. Click on Create Rule. For the trigger, we will use the Issue Transition Trigger. To keep this rule simple for this demo, we have to ensure that the statuses and possible transitions between the two projects are exactly the same. Therefore, we will keep the from status field and to status field blank, which matches all the possible statuses and transitions. Save the trigger. We will add a condition to ensure that this rule executes from the portal project. Add the issue fields condition. For the field value select project and ensure that it equals the service desk project. Save the condition. We will now add a branch to update the link task. Click on new branch. Select branch rule slash related issues. For the type of related issues field, select linked issues. For the link types field, select relates to and save the changes. Let's add a new issue fields condition to pick only task issue types. For the field, select issue type and set the condition to equal a task. Save the condition. We will now add the action to transition the link ticket. Click on New Action. Select the Transition Issue Action. In the Destination Status field, set it as Copy from the Trigger Issue. Save the action. Lastly, we will add a comment in the ticket to notify the user or agents about the transition change. Select the comment on Issue Action. We will use the following smart values to notify which transition was executed and who executed the transition. Expand the comment visibility section. Set the JIRA service management projects to share with customer. Save the action. Go to the rule details. Enter a name for the rule. Since this rule touches multiple projects, change the scope to multiple projects. Select the service desk project and the JIRA software project where the changes will be performed. Save the changes. Turn the rule on. Click on Return to List. 
Now, we will copy the rule and do the reverse. Where changes from the Jira software project task will transition the service desk bug ticket. Copy the rule. Rename the rule to identify that the transition from dev task will transition the bug ticket from the portal. Save the changes. For the trigger, no changes are required. For the project condition, modify it to ensure that it runs only for the Jira software project. Save the changes. For the branch component, no changes are required. For the issue type condition, modify it to only apply to the bug tickets. Save the changes. For the transition action, no changes are required. For the comment, let's modify it to identify that the change came from the Jira software project. Save the changes. Go ahead and publish the rule. Click on return to list. As you can see, the two new rules are enabled. Let's validate the new rules. From the portal, let's create a bug ticket. As you can see, the bug ticket is created and the status is set to open. Let's take a look at the Jira service management queues. Open the newly generated bug ticket. As you can see the corresponding task ticket was created for the Jira software project. Let's open the task. Now, let's transition the ticket to work in progress. This will transition the linked bug ticket and add a comment that it was transitioned. Let's go back to the portal and refresh the page. As you can see the linked ticket was transitioned. In the comments, you can see the comment information regarding the transition and who transitioned it. We will now transition the ticket from the bug ticket to done. Since the transition is not available in the portal yet, we will run the transition from the Jira Service Desk project. Let's transition the bug ticket to done. Let's open the link task. As you can see the task was transitioned to done. You can also see the comments that the transition was performed through the portal. In the next tutorials, we will show you how you can enable the transitions in the portal. And that's how you can keep your statuses in sync between Jira service management and Jira software tickets that are linked through automation. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you would like to be notified of new JIRA tutorials.